I really think it's worse than a lie. Because if we tell a lie, we're conscious that we're you're lying. And mm -hmm. we go to the confession about it. Right. Or we say, that wasn't right for me to say. That was a lie. But the one who tells the truth thinks they have the right to scandalize and disparage the name and the, and, uh, of another person. How many people have mur killed themselves because of, of, of gossip? Gossip, scandal is really the sin that our Lord speaks so strongly about. Mm -hmm. He just doesn't stop telling us that we've got to stop. Now, what do we do about all this gossip? We stop. I don't know if you know the story that's quite famous about the priest that in confession is a, I think he's a great saint, Philip Neri, mm -hmm. that for penance, a woman says, I'm not a sinner, I only gossip. Is that all? Is that all you do? <laughs> well, you go out and some tell the story, take a, a, a pillow, go up to the mountain here, and they had the down pillows and those, open it up and throw the feathers out. And then mm -hmm. she came back, I did it. Now go back and pick them up. Yeah. And I can't, Father, you can. And came back with a pillow that was all squashed and nothing mm -hmm. and said, this is all I could find. And that's what you've done to people's lives. That's right. You've dirtied them. They're not, you've, you've taken away from them. You've emptied their joy, taken away everything because of your mouth. Gossip is a terrible thing. And I think it's absent. If you look for holiness, you must ask God to guide your tongue, your tongue. because that's where the hell comes from. That's where criticism comes from. That's where real evil comes from is the tongue. And it's so easy to gossip and not even realize you're gossiping. Good point. Good point. And you know, please, let's stop watching programs that gossip. Do you know how many programs you have here in the United States that are just gossip shows? You're I don't, right. I, I, I turn it on. I don't want to say the names. Right. I don't want to hear how bad this man was when he lived. Mm -hmm. I have some good thoughts about him. Why do you dig him out of his grave? Mm -hmm. The gossiping tongue, a great priest said, the tongue that gossips is where the devil washes his hands. Remember that who are listening. The tongue um, that gossips is where the devil himself washes his hands. How delighted evil is when we talk against each other because nothing so divides a community, sisters, priests, uh, where your, your work hours, wherever you are, is that tongue that comes in and turns one against the other, against the other, against the other. Did you know about that? Didn't you know? Oh, you think he thinks well of you. Do you know what he said about you? I was a young girl when I read, it isn't my enemies that upset me. It's my best friends that come and tell me. Yeah. <laughs> Now, if you're a best friend and you hear something evil about the, somebody who said about them, you either stay in silence or you go back, but you don't tell that person because you set one person against another person. And that's where disharmony comes. Peace I leave you, my peace I give you.